Here's your list of 10 things that I love about the Philippines. Come on, let me tell you all about it. Not in any special order, but we've got to start somewhere. This is the first one. This is the weather. Two seasons in the Philippines, the rainy season and the summer, the dry season. Rainy season lasts around about three to four months a year. Doesn't rain all day, but it rains. Uh, but who minds rain at 30 degrees C? But the rest of the year, it's clear blue skies and temperatures anywhere around about 30 to 40 degrees C. Absolutely fabulous. This is what I came for. I love it. Number two, the Filipinos, the people of the Philippines. Such friendly people. Very, very friendly. I've been here for five years. I've lived here for five years. I'm from the UK. I've yet to meet a Filipino that gives me a hard time. They've always got a smile on the face. Always. Even if they're having a bad day, they'll always smile. They'll help you when they can. Most of them could speak English anyway, so we get along just fine. There's good and bad in any country anywhere in the world. But in general, Filipinos, they're great guys. Okay, the next one, number three. It's the beaches. Come and see. There are 7,000 islands in the Philippines. Some large islands, some small islands, but most have got beautiful beaches. You just have to find them. The Filipinos keep it to themselves sometimes, keep the foreigners away. But the beaches are beautiful and this sort of weather, heavenly. I love it, love it, love it. Number four on the list, it's the freedom of the place. Freedom in the Philippines is there to enjoy. It's open wide. There's mountains, there's jungle, there's beaches. It's all free to enjoy. The freedom you enjoy here is, is just incredible. It's just incredible. I love it to pieces. Number five, the Philippines food. Some great food available in the Philippines. Their favorite is lechon, which is roast pig, you know, with a crispy skin and everything. But if you fancy something lighter, uh, a bit further down the video, I got some choices for you. Uh, but near and around the towns, you can get just about anything. McDonald's, Jollibee, KFC, or you can find Italian, Japanese, Chinese. Uh, no problem at all. Moving right along, number six, the healthcare in the Philippines. So the healthcare in the Philippines, nothing to be scared around. A lot of the big cities have hospitals. The downside, I suppose, is you have to have the funds to be able to pay for the, for the illness or accident or whatever. But other than that, the facilities are first class. Um, I have had a uh, procedure not so very long ago. I got first class service. I had to pay, but hey, I got it done immediately. And you can't beat that. And could be lucky number seven, the women. Well, it's no use scrubbing around this one. A lot of people, a lot of guys come here to meet the Filipinas. Uh, the Filipinas in general, very very warm kind girls call them girls i married a beautiful woman in the philippines and we're together we're having a great time however you've just got to be careful if you're just coming over to have some fun well okay go for it but to find the perfect girl you have to be faithful you have to be honest and you don't cheat that way They'll give you 100% of their life. What more can I say? I'm a happy guy. I just love this place. Here we go with number eight. It's families. The Philippines is very family orientated. It's no surprise if there's 10 people in a family all living together. 
uh, that's what they do. They're very, very family orientated. It's great. I live amongst my family's uh, siblings. There's 12 of us. There's always somebody around for you. There's always support. There's always friendship. There's always company. Uh, someone you can lean on. And not only that, they've got a world of education and thoughts and fun. And there is never a dull moment. Love it. Number nine, the street food. I said I'd get back to you. Now, as an alternative to restaurants and cafes, we got wonderful street food in the Philippines. Every street corner, there's someone cooking street food, usually lunchtime or nighttime. It could be anything. It could be lobster. It could be, it could be beef. It could be pork. Anything you can imagine. If it can go on a barbecue, it's going to be sold on the street. Budget friendly, no frills. Just sit and watch the world go by while you're sat outside. Just having a chat, having a look around. It's great. Lots of choice. Very, very cheap. Come and go for it. Number 10, but not the last one. Stick around. Okay, this is number 10. Language. Who's ever been in a foreign country and struggled to understand what's going on? The good thing about the Philippines, the thing I love about the Philippines, 90% 90, 90 of Filipinos can speak very, very good English. So no problem with that at all. Uh, you can converse with most anyone. You can watch the news on the TV. You can understand it. Okay, there's local dialects, over a hundred different dialects in the Philippines. I live in the north, so it's Ilocano. Uh, a bit further south, it's Tagalog, down into Manila, etc., etc., etc. But every island's got its own thing going on. But the good thing is, they can understand and speak English, which is great for us foreigners. So, to sum up, that's only 10 things I love about the Philippines. You should get here. Forget all the negativity you keep seeing about this, that and the other. I come here five years ago, I got married to a Filipina, I live with her family, we get on great. I don't believe all the stories here about the horror stories and everything. That happens everywhere in the world. But for me, my personal opinion, that's my 10 things I love about the Philippines, only 10. There's a lot more, but hey, you know, just today, here we are, uh, almost at the end of October 2024. The exchange rate is 75 pesos to the pound, which is exceptional. Check out your country. I mean, it's got to be good. So check out my other videos of the Philippines if you get the time. Thanks for your time. Try and subscribe maybe. Drop me a comment, I hope, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.